Welcome to the eServices Automated Messaging Webinar. In today's webinar, we will cover creating each message type, send times, replacement tags, advanced settings, advanced options and languages. Automated messages are messages that go out to your patients regarding their appointment. We have standard templates, but they can be modified to fit the needs of your office. Adding an e-reminder. To create a reminder, we're going to go to the e-services, down to the automated messaging, and click add e-reminder. The e-reminders are sent out to your patients before their appointment. These messages can be sent via text and or email. On the top left-hand corner, we see the send time. This is the days or hours that it'll send before the appointment. On the top right, we see the do not send within time of the appointment window. This will be used to control messages sending out to last minute appointments or any overlapping message types. The send order is used as a method of contact for your patients. The preferred would go off the patient preference set in the patient information setup. If the patient does not have a preferred method, it will attempt to text that patient. If the patient does not have a wireless phone number in the wireless field, it'll email them. There's also a checkbox to send text and email if you prefer. For our standard default template, we have the tags that'll autofill for the appointment. On the bottom are additional replacement tags that you can add to these templates. The top portion, we have a text message field. And the bottom, we have the email subject and the email body. For e-reminders, there's a certain tag that can be used. The pre-med tag will attach to patients who are marked as pre-med in your database. The message will just remind them to take their medication before coming into the office. Adding e-confirmations. To add an e-confirmation, you'll go up to the e-services, automated messaging, and add e-confirmation. E-confirmations are sent out to your patients before their appointment. These messages can be sent via text and or email. The confirmation reminds your patients about their appointment, but also gives them the option to confirm their upcoming appointment. The top left-hand corner will have our send times before the appointment, either days or hours. We have the do not send within time of the appointment. This will be used to control messages sending out last minute or overlapping message types. The send order is used as a method of contact for your patients. We have the preferred confirm method. This is going to be marked in the patient information in the family module. We have the texting option. This will be sent via text message to patients who have a wireless phone number in the wireless field. There's also an email option. This will send to patients who do not have a confirm method or they don't have a wireless phone number inside the wireless phone number field. There's also an option to send text and email. For e-confirmations, we have auto replies, which I'll cover here in just a moment. We have a basic template, again, pulling tags from the database. At the bottom here, we have our replacement tags we can use for these messages. For the e-confirmation, it must include the confirm code. This is how your patients are gonna be able to respond to this message type confirming their appointment. Towards the bottom, we have our email subject and our email body, which can be edited down here at the bottom. As mentioned before, we have the auto reply option this will be under the advanced and the auto reply templates. Once the patient actually responds to your message via email or text message confirming their appointment, they'll get an automatic response thanking them for confirming their appointment. You can turn the auto replies off as it does consider itself an outgoing message. Adding an auto thank you. To add an auto thank you, you would go to the eServices tab, 
automated messaging, and add auto thank you. The auto thank yous are sent to your patients before their appointment. These can be sent via text and or email. The auto thank you sends off to patients who schedule an office or online, thanking them for scheduling with your office. In the top left-hand corner, we see our send times within days or hours after the appointment's actually scheduled an office. So once the patient schedules an office, it'll send them this message an hour after the appointment is scheduled. On the right-hand side, there is a do not send within time of the appointment window. This will be used to control messages that are going out to last minute appointments and overlapping messaging types. The send order is a method of contact to your patients. We have the preferred confirm method, which will be in your patient information in the family module. We have the texting option. If your patient has a wireless phone number in the wireless field, they'll get a text. We have the email option. If your patient does not have a preferred method, they do not have a wireless number in the wireless number field, they'll get an email. You can organize these any way you like, or you could select send all and it'll send text and an email. For the auto thank yous, this is our template. Replacement tags are gonna be here at the bottom. This information pulls straight from the database. Additionally, for the auto thank yous, we have a tag down here called add to calendar. If you add this tag to your automated message for the auto thank yous, it'll populate a URL for your patients to click on and they'll be able to add it to their Google or iPhone calendars. We can edit the email subject and body by clicking the edit down here at the bottom right hand corner. All of our email templates are HTML friendly, so you can add pictures, links, and colors. Adding arrivals. To add an arrival, we'll go to the eServices, Automated Messaging, and Add Arrival. The arrivals are sent to your patients the same day of their appointment. This method is sent via text message only. The arrival will allow the patients to wait in their vehicles until the office is ready for them to come in. On the top left-hand corner, we see our send time. This is how many hours or days it'll send before their appointment. On the top right hand corner, we have the do not send within time of the appointment window. This will be used to control messages sending out last minute or overlapping message types. For this message type, the only send order we have is text message. We have our default texting template with all of our tags, again, that'll pull from the database. For the arrival, it would need to include this arrive tag. There are additional tags here at the bottom. For arrivals, there is an auto reply that is sent out and can be modified in the advanced tab. We have our arrival templates, which are back here. Once the patient actually responds to the message, we'll get a message saying, please remain outside. And whenever you're ready for them to come in, you will right click on their appointment. There's gonna be an option at the bottom for the come in SMS message. It'll say your appointment is ready, please come in. You can turn this auto reply off as it is considered an outbound message. Adding patient portal invitations. To add a patient portal invitation, we're going to go to the e-services tab automated messaging, and we have two options. For the patient portal invitation, it can be sent before or after the patient appointment. Select add patient portal invitation. For the patient portal invitation, this is sent via email only. This will invite the patients to the online portal where it allows them to view any upcoming appointments, review saved treatment plans, and much more. 
On the top left-hand corner, we see our send time. Again, we have the before appointment or after the appointment option. Days or hours before or after. We have the do not send within time of the appointment window. This is used to control messages sending out last minute or any overlapping messaging types. For the patient portal invitation, again, email is the only option. On the right-hand side, we have additional preferences. We can invite the patient until they visit the portal. We can invite them once per appointment, or we can invite them once per appointment if the patient has not visited the portal in X amount of days. Because this is email only, we do have our subject and then our body down here at the bottom. All of our email templates are HTML friendly, so you can add pictures, links, and colors. Adding a general message. To add a general message, we'll go to the eServices and automate the messaging. Add general message. The general message sends out after the patient appointment is set complete. The send time, it can be days after the appointment is set complete or hours after the appointment is set complete. We have our send order. Preferred contact method is going to be on top. If not specified in the patient information, it'll attempt to text the patient. If the patient does not have a wireless phone number in the wireless field, it'll email the patient. We do the option to send text and email. For the general message, this is our template. It thanks the patient for their visit today. And if they have any questions, they can call the office. Additionally, you could add information such as follow our socials, please leave us a review on Yelp or Google. We have a text message default and our email default. All of our email templates are HTML friendly, so you can add fonts or colors. To activate our messaging types, we're going to go to the eServices tab, automated messaging, and activate each of our message types. These will begin sending right away. At the bottom of all our automated messaging, we see an advanced and an add language. Let's add a language. For the add language template, I'm going to drop down. The current options I have in my database are Spanish and Japanese. I'm going to press the Spanish and press OK. It adds additionally to my default a Spanish tab. I can modify the templates for text message and email and still have my default templates. Any patients marked as a preferred language in Spanish will receive all their automated messaging in Spanish. These will have to be modified by the office as we do not have a translation system, but once saved, it'll save for your Spanish and one for your default. In each of our automated messaging types, will be an advanced tab and an added language. Let's cover the advanced tab. When one or more appointments are on the same day and they share the same contact information, such as wireless phone number and or email, they will get one message. It'll be grouped together versus sending out several messages. In Open Dental, we call this aggregate messaging. You can still modify the template for email and SMS. In the eServices automated messaging window, there's an advanced settings here at the top left. In the top left-hand corner, we have our e-confirmation settings. Once the e-confirmation sends, it should be in the status as e-confirm sent. Once the patient actually confirms the appointment, it should be appointment confirmed. There is an option if enabled, a patient can request a callback and for the e-confirm failure, this is because we've tried to text or email the patient and they both have failed, whether being incorrect information or not valid information. 
We have the confirm from link and message, one quick confirmation and two quick. I'll explain each of these. When a patient gets an e-confirmation via email, it'll be via a URL. When they click on the URL, they'll have one option. As soon as they click on it, it'll confirm the appointment immediately. For the two-click confirmation, they'll click on the URL and they'll have two options. One being to confirm their appointment and the second being to request a callback from the office. On the right-hand side, we see our e-reminder tag for the pre-med. This is where we can modify that template. On the bottom portion, although it looks overwhelming, I'll explain. We have each status we have in our database, whether custom or default, here on the left-hand side. While the color assigned to that, we'll have each messaging type here listed on the top. The ones with X's are patients getting those messages in that status. If there's a status that you do not want them to receive any automated messaging, simply come in here and uncheck the X's. So my status for ready to go back will not get any automated messaging. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please call our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.